Well, this man was checking his home CCTV at night. He captured something he didn't expect. Published by Scary Desk in November of 2021, the scary video shows the man setting up his camera and checking that it's angled well in his yard. But as he's doing so, look behind him. A creepy face peeks out from behind a bush in the background. It remains in view even as a car passes by behind it. The face then slowly disappears back behind the bush. A closer look shows the creature's bizarre features. While it looked human from far away, it doesn't exactly look that way close up. Is this being wearing a mask? And why is it hiding? Whatever is going on here, it seems this man set up his security cameras just in time. A popular YouTuber named Shark is brought to this allegedly haunted location. After his friend had a ghost sighting here the last time he went exploring. And this is Marco. This is the guy you saw the ghost, right? Yeah, but I saw the ghost. You actually saw a ghost? I saw a ghost, man. You're not like you're not even kidding? I'm Just kinda wanna come here, see if we see anything paranormal, see if anything's going on, because right when he told me that, I was like, okay. We need to come. They are approaching an old historic house when a mysterious figure is caught on camera in the courtyard. Bush, dude, that's like no, moving. it's moving. Oh, yeah. It's moving back and forth. No, it's moving. Bush, it's zoomed in on that. It's like, I, I'm, I'm zoomed in all the way. It's like swaying back and forth. They argue whether or not the mysterious figure is alive and then the object moves, so it's presumably a person. If this was a maintenance worker or a security guard, then they would probably have a flashlight, and they would also probably ask what's going on, not stand in place being as creepy as possible without making a sound, and what happens next is creepy beyond all explanation. No. Wait, yo, she's actually moving! The mysterious figure seemingly disappears on camera, although when played in slow motion, it kind of looks like they simply stepped backwards out of the light and into the darkness. Still creepy either way. Literally right here was where it was. Dude, what? There's nothing there. Was that literally just a random girl or something? I don't know what it was. It looked like a it, it kind of looked. It looked like it had long hair. So I, I think it may have been a girl. A ghost girl, to be precise. I don't necessarily see long hair like he claims, but I'll take his word for it. And one minute later, they turn around to see the same shadowy figure now standing in the very place where they were at the beginning of this 3 a.m. video. I think this is probably a paranormal event and most likely a ghost sighting of a little girl, like they claim. The ghostly shadow figure doesn't seem much taller than the railing that it's standing beside. And here's a scary moment you probably missed. Watch this window. At 4 minutes and 25 seconds, the light is on. And as soon as they see the figure, the light turns off by itself. It could be a timer, but it's a small detail that makes me think this is not planned and is, in fact, a paranormal event. This 7.4 magnitude earthquake struck Japan years ago. Earthquakes are common in this part of the world, but what happens next is not. In the distance among the swaying buildings, a bright glow in the night sky, possibly what scientists call an earthquake light. A bright light burns intensely over the city for nearly 10 full seconds before extinguishing as suddenly as it came. The light appears to have caused no damage and was accompanied by no sound. It does not look like it was caused by a blown out transformer or any other kind of equipment. Scientists have documented this type of phenomenon before, known only as earthquake lights, but they don't know what causes them. They occur in less than 1% of earthquakes and have been reported for hundreds of years. A handful of theories exist, but a real explanation has never been proven. All we know for sure is that it creates an eerie light show that witnesses will never forget. Sean learned about summoning Bloody Mary from a friend. He thought about it for a couple days and then decided to try it for himself to see what happens. First, he tries to summon her with the lights on and he isn't surprised when that method doesn't work. Next, he tries it with the lights off, which is something that he is a little hesitant to do and with good reason too. He says her name three more times and this is what he sees. God. The hunched over figure behind him gives him a startle and Sean turns out the lights just to make the terrifying scene go away. When he turns the lights back on, she has vanished. Just like in other videos, the doorknob gets jammed as he tries to leave and then it suddenly releases. He retreats into the main area of his house and the video ends. 
I will say that this video could very well be fake. Maybe Bloody Mary is really just his sister or someone else he knows. His reaction seems a little off too, kind of like it could have been staged. But then again, he might have been really frightened and just trying to keep his cool for the camera. It's hard to tell for certain. When you're an urban explorer planning to explore an abandoned building, be prepared to find it occupied. All Around Lifestyle published this video in December of 2015. Mike wrote, Me and a mate went exploring in a grain elevator, which is located in Poland in a city called Warclaw. The footage was captured on a GoPro Silver 3 edition. After exploring the cellar and several other floors, they explore the grounds. There are several other small buildings in the area. And as they approach one of them, they hear voices. This building is as dilapidated as the rest of them. Rubble on the ground. But in the far room, the guys distinctly hear several voices. Mike enters the small building. And when the people in question appear in the far doorway, he asks in Polish if he can record there. One man says yes, but another says no and tells him to leave now. Mike explains afterwards that he believes the people in the abandoned buildings were living there. Don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to run into anyone in this remote place. A supposed mermaid was captured sunning itself on the rocks beside this murky lake. Posted to TikTok, you may want to avoid the water after seeing this clip. Did you notice that there are two of them? You can see the other one's head peek up. Will some in the comments say this is a real mermaid? And mermaids, in fact, look scary like this. I'm not so sure about this video's authenticity. I did some digging online, and it turns out the video's original source is YouTube channel, JJPD Producciones, which specializes in CGI. Whether you choose to believe this is real or fake, it is definitely an impressive reimagination. Kelsey Davies goes exploring an eerie lake in the woods. A strange place that's claimed too many lives not to be haunted. People are getting trapped under the ice here and never coming back. She wants to communicate with their spirits to learn more. It isn't long until they've caught some bizarre paranormal activity on camera for us to analyze. It doesn't look too deep, but you could totally get trapped under the ice, you know? Near the lake, they encounter a revolting smell that makes Kelsey cover her nose. Evil spirits are said to sometimes secrete bad odors if they come nearby, which is why I think it's no coincidence when this happens next. Oh. <laughs> A twig snaps underfoot, and as they huddle close, all eyes looking in the direction where the lake is, a sweeping shadow passes in front of the camera, followed by scary sounds coming from the woods near the lake. <gasps> that sounded like a scream. Yeah, in the distance. Yeah. Was this forest scream the same sound someone once made as they fell through the ice? A final surprise noise they are now doomed to repeat as a ghost. And as they strain their ears in the darkness, more ghost EVPs are caught on camera. Oh. I bet Dude. There's like laughing. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Shortly after, they hear a voice whisper. The camera blurs like a ghost is standing between them. Sounds like someone's up there. Do you want to just whisper? Even though it's never had a problem focusing up until this point in the video, this keeps happening for a full minute and then stops. 
I'm guessing when the spirit finally walks away, as they go exploring the haunted lake, their paranormal sixth sense is confirmed by extremely bizarre camera malfunctions that are too strange to be a coincidence. Do you want to try the Necrophonic app over here? Oh. Whoa, my camera's like super blurry. It smelled really bad with that. Wait, what? Really Kelsey's camera goes out of focus at the same time her friend smells a rotting stench walk by, and when it goes away the camera comes back into focus on its own. Her friend isn't even looking at the camera so there's no way she could have known to say that. When they discover a discarded pair of sandals nearby, it becomes a clear possibility that they are being led to the site of someone's demise. Look! There's just flip flops. And as they get freaked out and walk back to their car, it seems as if the party of three has grown one larger. Hopefully. <gasps> what was that? Was that you? Oh, what the f was that? There is a haunted painting somewhere in this art gallery in Birmingham, UK. The only problem is Ted Whitehall isn't sure which painting it is, so he calls a pastor to hold an exorcism and cleanse every last one of them. Something demonic is determined not to let that happen. Well, take it from this place. It has no place here, Lord, and I cast this out in the name and I bind it in the mighty. An angry ghost keeps slamming the door. It hates whenever the pastor talks about being cast out and keeps doing its best to interrupt him. I cast you out and bind you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Persistent pastor pushes aside his fear and fires off the final words. You can hear the defeated spirit walk away. Cast it into the pit, Lord, and bind it forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That could just be somebody off camera walking away. So let's turn our attention towards the chair, which Ted says is made of cast iron. Can anybody tell me if this is really made out of cast iron? If so, it should weigh a ton and be virtually impossible to move. To call this paranormal activity would be an understatement. This is one powerful painting. Paranormal investigator Tim Morozov has seen a lot in his line of work, but he calls this the worst night he's ever had in a haunted house. Let's see why. First, something appears on his monitor. A little later, the lights go out. Then something lets itself in. Tim checks it out. When he doesn't find anything, he decides to sleep, but he really shouldn't. <laughs> the demon seems to have choked him. And that's not the end of it. He says the inscription was written as if from inside the mirror. Later, the demon is again captured, creeping on the monitor. As Tim looks for him, he's found hiding.
And the game continues. Until the demon makes its move. I don't think I've seen a demon appear on camera like that before. And then for it to get so aggressive, Tim is lucky to have made it out alive. This video takes place somewhere in the South American country of Chile during the middle of a street race. A number of cars rush past and soon an animal randomly materializes without making so much as a sound. Watch again in slow motion, and it really does appear as though the dog steps out of an invisible portal. You can see its front half emerge first, followed by the torso and back legs. Then again, the blurred edges around the dog's body does look like it could be made through editing. I am not an expert in video editing though by any means, so let me know if you think this is real or CGI and how you could tell the difference. Om is a popular YouTuber from Delhi, India, who for two years has been steadily growing his channel, Om Vlogs. At first, he would do normal things like go to a museum or an amusement park, but about a year ago, he started to get into ghost hunting. Now, he goes on ghost hunting explorations all the time, and they are really good. Delhi has a population of about 30 million people, so we are talking about a single city with as many people as the whole state of Texas, which means plenty of places to explore and plenty of ghosts to be found. So recently, Ohm Vlogs went to a building that was so cursed he wouldn't say the name of it or where it was, only that it was a restaurant in his hometown where something horrendous happened that made them close down and never reopen. On May 13th of 2020, they visit it for the first time, or at least try to. They don't get far because a presence guarding the area won't let them go inside. They stay at what they mistake for a safe distance and peer in. There's a light that's orange here at 8 minutes and 9 seconds coming from an otherwise dark room. They don't see anything else and chance a closer look. Ohm is talking more about the place when a mysterious shadow descends the wall at 12 minutes and 23 seconds. A minute later, they learn beyond a doubt that something is inside. His friend is standing next to him, so it's not him. They dare not enter, but they stick around for a bit longer. At 15 minutes and 22 seconds, a single pixel goes white while recording a room on the second floor. When they zoom out, the light mysteriously goes away, but not before more black shapes pass over it. By now, it's getting late, so Ohm is wrapping up the video. When he senses something watching him and points out a shadow figure that only he can see in person, it doesn't show up on camera, at least not that I can see, but you should remember this area for later because things are about to ramp up. Apparently whatever is in there is not happy to see them again. When they return a few weeks later, this time a white robed figure with a demonic head and two horns leans on the brick wall as if taunting them to try and go in, which they don't notice and proceed to do. They shine their light into a blown out window and eyes waverly reflect at 7 minutes and 5 seconds. The restaurant is obviously no longer taking reservations. They stand and brace themselves for whatever comes next, and when nothing happens, they decide to explore a few rooms before returning to the main area. As they think about whether to leave or not, a terrible feeling washes over them, and their camera goes out of focus like something is near, and it is. Ohm puts his hand up to shield the group from something they can't see but we can. At 10 minutes and 58 seconds, it's coincidentally standing in the exact same place where Ohm thought he saw something the first time. The building becomes more displeased with each passing moment. But when they go into the room to leave, its guardian is absolutely gone. 
I guess it knew they were leaving and letting them pass without harm. And I think I heard a fire alarm at 11 minutes and 18 seconds even though the place clearly doesn't have one. I suspect it once burnt down. And what you heard was paranormal residual energy from the event. Ohm never does reveal the location. But there is a comment left by someone who thought they recognized the location and I thought this was interesting. If someone could please confirm that this location is on the Cardinal Bypass Road in Delhi, that would be helpful. And tell us anything else you know about its haunted history. Kriparian is live streaming some Hearthstone when he gets into a scary Twitch moment that has his subscribers screaming that there's a ghost in the window. The unknown person leaves for a bit and then comes back only to open the door and help himself to something right by the door. Within three seconds, he is gone again. Actually, where is my bag? Where's the bag? Knowledge is... His girlfriend goes out to investigate and finds them with the bag in one of the other rooms. They told her they thought it was theirs, but it's pretty clear from the sarcasm. And Kriparian's reply that he doesn't believe them at all. Oh, they thought it was their bag. Oh, yeah. So this is one of the most popular and often talked about scary Twitch moments in the history of the platform, and yet a lot of people still don't know the full story. He was at a gaming event and apparently the person at the window was another live streamer who was actually hanging out with them earlier. If you look really closely, he does seem to put his hand up and knock on the glass at 25 seconds to try and get their attention. Nobody hears him though, so rather than disturb the live stream any further, he quietly opens the door and takes what he thought he left behind. I really doubt that anyone would be foolish enough to take something from a popular live streamer who is blatantly live streaming to thousands of people. So it seems like a simple case of miscommunication that was later blown way out of proportion by the internet. This footage was supposedly taken by a 911 caller and later edited to include his actual 911 call. The caller starts out by saying he's hearing some strange noises in his basement. And this ghostly basement sighting is what supposedly caused him to make the call. Look closely, and you will see that this does appear to be a shadowy figure from another time period. I personally see someone from the Victorian age, perhaps a woman with a large dress and oversized hat. He runs upstairs and makes the call after seeing her. Then again, if this video was real, then I don't know how he would have gotten a copy of his own 911 call. I could be wrong, but I think those are private records and generally unobtainable. There are also sound effects that are obviously put over the video once he sees the ghost, so maybe this is just a prank after all. It could be computer effects or even a mannequin. Ali H claims to have bought this mystery box for $1,000. The bottom of the box is covered with paper towels so he can't see what's underneath. He absentmindedly reaches straight into the box without a second thought, a decision he soon regrets. But something literally just what the f pricked me. <laughs> Guys, I think I just screwed up. Ali H is pricked by a strange needle that's tangled in tufts of foreign hair. The rest of the items appear to be weird chemicals that Ali H can't identify. By the end of the video, his finger is throbbing and he knows he needs medical attention quick. I'm, going, I'm literally going to the hospital with this whole package and I'm gonna just tell them what happened and I'm just gonna be straight up with them. But look at this. I didn't see any actual liquids inside of the syringe, which is good, but I guess there could still be some sort of contagion on the tip of the needle itself. I was thinking he should have washed his hands immediately, but be sure to let me know if there are some extra steps Ali H could have taken to save his health. Ali H made this video in August of 2018.
And at the moment, no update has been provided. A ghost voice drifting from deep inside a tunnel is something that nightmares are made of. That's what Amy Dancing Again posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit under the title, Ghost Voice at WW2 Oil Storage Tunnels in Darwin, NT Australia. Although the acoustics of this tunnel have been called haunting, our research uncovered no further reported paranormal activities in the tunnels, although they seem like the perfect setting for them. The tunnels were built to protect oil. Japan went after the city of Darwin no less than 64 times during this time frame, ending in 1945. With only six of the 11 tunnels completed, the tunnels were then opened to the public in 1992, which is how this Redditor came to explore them. They were the only people in the tunnel as they arrived early. Another Redditor wrote in the thread that the way the camera moves when you hear the voice makes the video seem legit. What is this voice saying? I just can't seem to make it out. Is this the floating soul of a departed one? Published by Frankly2112 in October of 2008, a ghost hunting crew encountered a strange floating orb while wandering through a cemetery at night. The light glows brightly at the center of what appears to be a semi-transparent figure. Then again, the apparent figure could just be the extension of the light's rays. As the cameraman pans away and back again, the beam moves quickly out of frame and out of sight. YouTuber Price Paranormal writes, It almost seems elemental or interdimensional. Others note that the light seems to materialize there and that it appears like someone holding fire in their hand. What do you think this is? Are the spirits alive? in this graveyard. I'd be staying far away from this place. A YouTuber named Jerry Wells and a housemate sit across from each other while playing with a Ouija board. Apparently, they have been experiencing strange paranormal disturbances around the home for some time, and now they're turning to the Ouija board for answers. We're going to try to find out what's in this house. I don't know how else to try to contact We've got to find out what it wants. Hey. I'm going to see if I can get it to leave us alone. Look closely and you can see the board quivering unnaturally as they speak. Or tell us what you want, what it'll take to leave me and my family and our home alone and never return. We're tired of this. Just tell us what you want. Jerry Wells asks what it wants and B-L-O-O-D is the reply, followed by a metaphysical reaction. What do you mean blood? What do you want? Come on now. If this is fake, then I have no idea how they did this. You can clearly see underneath the table the entire time, so it's not magnets, and I don't see a string either. If you don't believe this is paranormal, then let me know how they managed to make the board shake and jump straight into the air. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.